Hello guys, hope you're doing well as always and welcome back to another vlog. Today we're going up to the Emirates. Obviously I'm a Chelsea fan so this is going to be an interesting day for me but we're in hospitality and they are taking on Everton who are one point off the team above them. 18th place in the relegation zone and with Arsenal two points clear and a game in hand at the top of the Premier League table. The points in this game mean absolutely everything for both sides. Without further ado ladies and gents, if you're new here please make sure to subscribe, like the video and check out my other vlogs and let's just get straight up to the Emirates. Both teams about to come out. How are you feeling for today? Very good. Fantastic place. Fantastic stadium. First time we've been here for a long time. So feeling good. Uh, prediction wise, I'm going for 3-1 Arsenal. Tasty stuff. While the teams have just walked out, I am expecting a good game. As I said at the beginning of the video, all three points are necessary for both teams. I'm going to go for 2-1 win to Arsenal. I think it's going to be closer. <laughs> Challenge from Awobi against his former club. Another next close pass from Jorginho. I said he's got his side playing the best football of his half, yeah. but they've been lacking that clinical pass through into the penalty area. But Everton have looked good on the break, and that is a vulnerability for Arsenal. As they've seen so far this season, there's no clear winner in terms of who's going to get the first goal as of yet. Winning challenge and it's out for a goal kick. Brilliant from Trossard. Oh. Oh. Easily held by Pickford. Ladies and gents, and the score is Arsenal 2, Everton. 
So, ladies and gents, half time and Arsenal finds us 2 0 up. What are your thoughts and feelings on that as a first half? A lot of possession for Arsenal, a lot of chances to start off with, but not clear cut chances. Everton had a few chances of their own on the break uh, a few times. Arsenal, I suppose, got what they deserved. Two good goals, one slightly controversial goal. Atmosphere wise, very rare. So, you go to a big, a big ground and the home fans are more vocal than the away fans. The away fans are pretty appalling, really, but then maybe that's reflective of where they are in the league and how they feel about it. Looking at the ground, the ground's fantastic, but I get a feeling that there's a ground not too far from here that maybe model themselves on this ground and thought we'll go two or three steps better than this one. That's not having to go at Arsenal. Arsenal's stadium is fantastic, but I reckon someone did a bit of a naughty on them just up the road. Absolutely, Arsenal played absolutely fantastic and it pains me to say that because I hate Arsenal. But some of the football that they were playing was absolutely exceptional. It is the stuff of champions and it is obviously reflective of where they are currently in the league standings. So Arsenal fans will be hoping for more of the same in the second half. Everton fans, yeah, I think as my dad just said, not the loudest that we've seen in terms of away fans. Home sport's been brilliant, but as we've both touched on, it's reflective of where they are in the league. So hope for more goals in the second half. to the half and it blazed well over. Well played by Ramsdale, great composure. Another good opportunity for Arsenal miss. Still cruising at the moment, in control of this game. And the game is surely theirs now. We hungry for more, even at four, still going for more goals. Credit to all of the Everton fans that have stayed, but that stand is pretty empty. Maybe their last visit here for quite a while if they go down. The chance late on here for Everton. Good save. And it's just about kept out. Great goalkeeping from Ramsdale, but you've got to say that was a beautiful finishing from Davis. And that's full time. Look at what it means to those players. They are absolutely knackered. Mikel Arteta has done something really special with this Arsenal team. From where they started to where they are now, exceptional. Their team have played some of the best football I've seen for a long time tonight. These Everton players, though, are coming over to the remaining Everton fans. They've got a lot of work to do if they want to stay up in the Premiership this season. But it's Arsenal's night tonight. They've been absolutely exceptional. The league is theirs for the taking. Another brilliant game. Full Saka, he's a, such a special talent as he takes his shirt off. 
goes over to give it to a fan who's made an entire stadium today, but that one kid especially has passed in Saka. to an end a fantastic victory for Arsenal I'll start with you as always what are your immediate thoughts post match well I think if there was any inkling of a doubt in the first half which there wasn't there was definitely no doubt in the second half Arsenal were class really uh, from the from the first minute of the second half right to the end even after the whistle some of the Arsenal players Odegaard and Sacco went round the ground Sacco gave his shirt to someone you just got this feeling about this Arsenal team this season that they could and should do it uh, that was a fantastic performance tonight yeah I couldn't agree more so Solbeck what you said they've got the aura of champions and you see that in the way that they play every pass is fantastic they're one of the best passing teams at the moment great result for them and all in all great day out I mean obviously I've made my allegiances very clear at the beginning of this video but Arsenal, fantastic today, and I think the league is theirs for the taking. Well, they can only lose it from here, so I don't think they will. I think they had a little bit of a blip a few games ago. I think that's their blip over with. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one, wherever that may be. Take care, guys. Peace and love.